Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of writing equations from tables. This is standard 6.6b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 24 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work the problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So our table here shows the relationship between D, that's the money at the beginning of the day, and then W, the money that she has after riding the bus to work. So as we can see here, we have a table. We've been dealing with tables for a long time, and typically we'll see an input and an output, and we'll see some type of rule. Right, and the rule might be minus 5, or it might be times 8. Well, we're going to go ahead and look for a rule, but we're just going to now, in sixth grade, translate that rule into an actual an equation. So, how are we getting, since our, our numbers are in two different columns here, let's go ahead and look from left to right. So, when we are going from 1575 down to 1450, it looks like we are getting smaller. All of these happen to be getting smaller for us. So, we can either subtract or we can divide to get smaller. Looks like we're dealing with money, probably money that we're using to pay for the bus fare. So let's start with subtraction, because typically we're just going to subtract. That seems like that might be a simple answer here. So let's just take our first pair here. 1575 minus something is going to get you 1450. So I know that I can use my fact family and I can just actually write a related fact, and I can actually just subtract these two to get that missing number. And it looks like we're not even needing any kind of regrouping. A buck twenty-five. So maybe it's a buck twenty-five. Before we write that as a rule, let's go ahead and double check that with a few others here. Let's check my 950. Does it work if I take 950, 125? Let's see, regroup there. That's going to be 5, 825. Yes, because that's what 825 is. Uh, let's do one more. 525 minus 125. That's going to be just a flat 4. Yes, and then we could just kind of use the eyeball test here. $30 minus 125. Yeah, that's going to get you 28 cents. So there's my rule. My rule is subtract. A dollar twenty-five, but in the sixth grade we don't deal with rules. We actually have to write it into an equation. So, what we need to do is we need to begin with our variable, and in this case we're dealing with our dependent variable. So the dependent variable that's the one that changes. The dependent changes. And then the independent stays the same, or the independent starts it. So let's look at our independent or our dependent variable first, because that's what we want to get. That's going to be our answer. How do we get from D to W? So our dependent variable is the one that changes. That's going to be our W. So W is our dependent variable, because that amount of money changes based on what she uses it for. In this case, she's using it for a ride to work. So we're actually starting each of our equations with the independent variable. So our independent variable is D. So our dependent variable is, well, it's based on what happens with our independent variable. So that's D. And what do we do with that independent variable? Well, we take away 125. That's our rule. So we start the day. We take away 125. And then this turns into our dependent variable because we change it based on that bus fare. And so our answer is going to be J right here. You take your D minus 125, and you get your w which is your dependent variable 